Well, today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, evolution and Christianity and whether or not they mesh and I don't know, getting into some of these little conversations here on YouTube about about different things and uh, they always want to throw out the word, uh, you're just a creationist, a creationist, and you see nothing but creationist versus evolutionist or, you know, uh, Richard Dawkins versus some random creationist. Well, let me tell you guys, uh, there really is no such thing as a creationist. Uh, it, there's, there's Christian and probably and Muslim, because they believe the same thing as far as uh, the creation of the world that the Christians believe. Um, there's, a, there's God, and, and then there's evolution. Uh, there isn't any creationist. I'm not aware of anybody who um, believes uh, God did everything, and they're not uh, a Christian or a Muslim. There's, you know, the other, like Buddhism and all these other ones, they're all essentially atheistic. They believe in nature created everything, um, a pantheistic kind of worldview. Um, but the only ones that say God did it are Muslims and Christians. Um, and, you know, reconciling that this evolution thing is going to fit in there, like there's Christians and Muslims out there that think that evolution is just A-OK. I mean, yeah, there is, but they just don't know what they're doing. They never really thought about it. Um, they never, you know, there's, there's some Christian apologetics out there that will say that they can reconcile, uh, the days in the book of Genesis and do millions of years and whatnot. And there are some people that believe that fairy tale, but that is not, uh, that is not the way that it is. Um, the book plainly says that God did it over a few days. That's just what the book says. You can't, uh, really, you can... You can re retranslate the Bible into anything you want to. The NIV is proof of that. And if you're going to, you know, use what man's translation, what he decided to change it into as your basis for what you're going, you're reconciling evolution with uh, uh, God did it, and you're going to try and shoehorn that in there, well, that isn't what Christianity is. That just plain isn't. Um, so... What it comes down to is if you call yourself a Christian, you can't believe in evolution. Because you're basically saying that you don't believe God when he said he did it. You know, the, the Christian faith has to be founded on something. And it's, to my knowledge, founded on the Bible. Well, that's where I get my information from when it deals with anything having to do with religious anything. I'll go back to the Bible because that's the standard. It doesn't matter what your church says or what your pastor says or whatever. If you can't find it in the Bible, you don't need to listen to it. So, I mean, if you want to believe the earth is millions of years old, that's fine. But you, you can't call yourself a Christian then. You can call yourself a Catholic. They decided that was okay. They have no problems with evolution. Just believe in the Pope and tell him all your sins and all of that. You can watch the other video on, on Catholicism. Um, but as far as Christianity goes, no, I mean, it, it, there is no such thing as a creationist, okay? There is nobody who their, their definition, their worldview, their religious sect, their belief system is not called creationism. It's called Christianity or Muslim, you know, you're a religious sect. You're not a, you're not a belief in idea unless you're, uh, an evolutionist. Then that is a belief in ideal system. It's a religion all its own. You know, you can be an evolutionist, or you can be a a Christian, or you can be a Muslim. Um, then there's people that are called atheists that say they don't believe in anything, but they believe in evolution because what else they got? They can't explain anything any other way. Um, and as far as that whole debate comes down to, it it doesn't matter to me so much what people believe in. But it really bothers me when people uh, spread garbage around, you know, like with a lot of evolutionist stuff is garbage. And then when it's shown to be lies, then they say, oh, well, then we have this other, you know, information over here, which turns out to be lies. And then they say, well, we'll look over here and then look over here. There isn't anything that's really hardcore fact at all under that, you know, with evolution. And Here's where what the reason these debates have have raged so long here between uh, your your Christians and your 
evolution atheist people is because you take something like uh, the Grand Canyon, right? This is a, a thing that textbooks tell you that, that the Grand Canyon is millions of years old and the layers are a result of years and years of um, erosion and rains on the rocks and all this other garbage. And they say the Colorado River carved it out. Yeah, okay. And they, and they do this because they, they call it uniformitarianism, which is a term that's only used by Christians because um, the, the scientists don't want to cop to it, I guess. But it's the silly idea that because we've seen it happening for the last you know few years, that it must have been happening for billions of years. You know, if we see the, uh, if we see the Grand Canyon, it, it erodes like, oh, two, three centimeters every year. Well, because we can measure that now, then we can say, well, it must have taken millions of years of erosion for it to get that deep. And that's the only possible explanation. That's the only way it could happen. Right? Okay. Um, and if you, th- if you think of anything else, then that, that it just couldn't be that way, because the book says it was millions of years. Well, you got Mount St. Helens. Okay? That's a volcano that erupted. And it blew out this uh, river or, or lake that was down at the bottom of it. And it created the exact same thing as a, as a little mini Grand Canyon with all the layers and everything. If you took a zoomed in picture of it, it would look exactly the same. And that eruption took a matter of 15 minutes to carve that gar- uh, gorge. So that didn't take millions of years and you get the same result. So a Christian will look at the Grand Canyon and say, Great Flood, we've got evidence that supports that uh, water can do that. Um, deposition of minerals will create layers. That's, that's how it works. That's science. It doesn't have to be millions of years. And an evolutionist will look at it and go, It has to be millions of years. Well, the thing is here is the Christian has scientific demonstrable proof and evidence that it can happen a different way. And the evolutionist will go back to long ago and far away to our imaginations of what could have possibly happened. All just to deny the existence that it could possibly, you know, anything that will deny uh, a young earth, um, God created it, mentality. And it's, it's this way on every single point. Um, anything that has to do with the age of the earth, no one can prove it. No one can prove The earth is 6,000 years old. No one can prove that it's millions of years old. The point is, is that the evidence that people use for millions and millions of years old, they're assuming that everything has happened the same for the last uh, millions of years as what they saw happen yesterday. And all of these points come up where people prove that it can be done quicker than millions of years and look exactly the same through experimentation and demonstration and... uh, that 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 is never that is never pointed out anywhere. So these are why these debates roll on, and um, you you've of course got your hardliners on both sides. But I think that there's a lot of people in the middle that are trying to uh, not get involved in the discussion and say it's easier just to accept evolution and then you know go to church on Sunday and say I'm I'm all for God and hey guess what guys you're you're completely off base there. You, you kind of have to pick sides. The Bible says that too. It says you're supposed to stand apart from those people that are, uh, that are uh, spreading this garbage. And, you know, you're supposed to stand up for God, not for uh, what, man's, what man decides his God is going to be. So just, just wanted to make this quick little thing here to uh, put people on the right track. Okay, there's, there's no such thing as a creationist. Creationism is not a religion. Um, you know, you loosely use the term to describe, uh, the, the God did it belief, but really you're talking about Christians, really. Um, I'm not a Muslim, so I don't know, uh, particularly, I know that they believe in much of what the Old Testament says, and I'm pretty sure they believe in the Genesis thing, but I'd never heard Muslims, anytime Richard Dawkins debates anybody, I never saw a Muslim up there. Maybe he did, uh debate with the Muslims, I don't know. Um, Primarily, though, it is a Christian thing. It's not a creationist thing. It's always a Christian dude, right? 
It's not like creationism is some little sect of people that are crazy that think the earth is 6,000 years old. Oh, no. If you're a Christian, that's what you need to believe. <laughs> and if you don't, maybe you better, uh, and you decide you want to keep being a Christian and you believe in God, you know, he'll give you the answers. You just need to go looking for him a little bit. Um, and you'll come to the understanding, as I have, much, much research that, you know, a lot of the things that you're told regarding the age of the earth are totally unfounded. And they come from uh, experts or, you know, unnamed scientists or garbage like this. And let me tell you, you, you look at this stuff, and anytime you see millions of years, bells should go off in your head and be like, okay, who said it? What are they talking about? What, what methods are they using? Um, when are they saying this happened? Uh, where, where are they at? Um, why are they doing this research? And who is paying for it? And once you find out, you know, who is paying for it and the reason that they're there doing the research, you can understand where they come up with millions of years. You know, they get a grant from a university to study um, the evolution of some critter. Right there, they're not going to get any money if they come back and say that, well, you know, our, their evidence at least better support the fact that it's an evolution thing or they're not getting their money, right? So this is not a, a clear-cut thing. Science in this regard is all faith-based, and you look at where the people are... Uh, uh, getting their money from it will say a lot about uh, about their uh, philosophical point of view or their pocketbook point of view. Um, and you'll a, another good example with this here is going to be scientists and things that believe in uh, a creationist worldview. Um, Christians that that don't renounce their faith essentially. To, to have their job, these people have nothing to gain at all by releasing the facts of their findings. Uh, a great example is the, is the woman who found a dinosaur bones that still had um, soft tissue on them and blood. Well, you, you can't have a 65 million year old dinosaur die out and still have a, a fossilized dinosaur that still had some soft tissue that was not fossilized. It's impossible. So, good luck reconciling it. Uh, I, that's all I can say. Um, I'm sick of these people that are on the fence, though. I'll tell you that. If, you, if you're going to be a Christian, you better be a Christian. And not, well, I'm kind of, sort of, just a little pantheistic and maybe a little pagan and uh, maybe a little atheist, but, you know, God did the rest. God will be there to send me to heaven. I'm not going to be there for him, though, to say that he uh, created the world. I'm not going to glorify him, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to heaven because I'm a good person. So, give you all something to think about.